While Korea, China, and Japan may have many political disagreements, a new exhibit is bringing artists from these countries together for a united approach to art. Our Im Yoon Hee joins us today to tell us more. Good afternoon, Yoon Hee. Good afternoon, right. So this is being held at the Seoul Museum of, Contem of uh, Art, and that they're holding a contemporary art exhibition uh, called the Subtle Triangle. Now it features the work of three uh, prominent artists in Asia, one from Korea, one from China, and one from Japan. And so while they have artistic differences, there are also some similarities and it also offers a look at some of the art history of Asia. Take a look in this next report. This might look like just another grocery shop, with fully stocked shelves ready for shoppers. There are even customers and staff, but all of this is part of Shanghai Supermarket, an installation art piece by Chinese artist Xu Zhen. He's recreated a life-size market, but all the boxes, bags and cans are empty, already consumed by the artist. This isn't about whether we see this as a piece of art or not, but rather that the products are purchased and even taken home. The artist wants the experience to continue outside the gallery. Drowned in glowing screens, Japanese artist Koizumi Mero creates a video work titled Theater Dreams, where he explores human emotions and our response to historical events. Living abroad gave me good, like, gave me a kind of objective view towards Japan. So after I came back to Japan, I could see the Japan more objectively. And that's kind of starting point of what I'm doing now. For the exhibition, Korean artist Yang Achi unveils his new experimental project, Sea Salt Theater, where he looks at some geographical elements of Asia. I hope people have a range of experiences here. You're listening to the audio aspect, but you can also experience the sense of touch and even smell. But there's more to see than these three works of art. The exhibition also offers an examination of art history within Asia, paying close attention to cultural exchanges between the three countries since 1989. Okay, so this is what you could call a politically charged exhibition, but I must right. say the artworks are not exactly um, as what I had expected. Right, I was a little bit surprised too. Uh, no, so none of these artworks actually directly comment on, uh, I guess, the political ties between the three mm -hmm. countries, but they wanted to do this. They wanted to bring these three different artists and show that there are similarities. While they came from different areas, they have different practices and different styles, they also showed uh, some similarities when it comes to their art, and so they kind of wanted to hint at sort of uh, united from when it comes to art. Okay, and what does the exhibition tell us about the art or the Asian art as a whole? Right, so all of these are considered leaders of the Asian art world and what they want to do is they want to sort of negate uh, the commonly Western, I guess, opinion of Asia's art culture and so they want to reestablish it, redefine a whole new uh, Asian art front. So they want to do that by examining not only art culture and the history of the art here in Asia but also by using these three prominent art leaders here in mm -hmm. Asia. I want to keep you here and talk a little bit more about the artworks, especially the vibrating peach. But oh, a little bit interesting, yes, right? Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have time for that now. Thank you very much, uh, Yuni, for coming in today and sharing this report with us. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure.